In today's video, using Football Manager 2022, I am going to be simulating the next 10 plus years of Erling Braut Haaland's career following his move from Borussia Dortmund to Manchester City. I personally am very, very interested to see how dominant Manchester City will be. I think that's fairly expected. But how many Premier League titles in a row can they win? Can they go on to win that Champions League that they so desire? And on a more personal level, I am very, very excited to see how Erling Haaland does essentially head-to-head -head versus Kylian Mbappe to see who will win more Ballon d'Ors. What does Football Manager 2022 think? But before we get into that, I ask you, please, if you do like this type of content, please do let me know by leaving a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on much, much more Football Manager 2022 content to come. I've got a big summer planned. Let's get into things. Before Haaland's arrival, the 2021-22 league season in the Premier League was concluded by Manchester City wrapping up the title. It'll be interesting to see who comes out on top between them and Liverpool in real life. All I know is Manchester United, <clears throat> that's unrealistic, being second. After Erling Haaland's first season in the league, they did indeed win the title again, Liverpool being their closest rivals. And let's have a look at how Erling Haaland did. <sighs> Here he is. <clears throat> it's a lot of green in there, let's admit that for our starters. 22 years old now, at the end of the 2022-23 season. His first season at Manchester City on 275 grand a week following his move from Borussia Dortmund. He scored 24 goals in his first season in 37 appearances. He's had some injury problems. He only missed one game in the league season. 36 goals in all competitions. It's fair to say <laughs> he got off to an absolute flyer. Did Manchester City win anything else in his first season? I'm not expecting them to be at the Champions League straight away. He's still got a lot of developing to do, despite being very, very good, clearly, as I'm sure you are all already aware. But let's see. In terms of other competitions, they did win the FA Cup. However, I see that there is no Champions League so far for Manchester City. Their wait will go on for at least one more year, that forbidden fruit of the Champions League. I'm now going to skip towards the end, waste no more time, and see just how good Erling Haaland becomes. Ten more years down the line, Erling Haaland is an absolute beast. At the age of 32, he's hit his prime, maybe he's starting to decline now. However, still physically very, very dominant. 20 natural fitness too, still to boot at 32 years old. It's weird seeing someone being 32, born in the year 2000, born after me. That's making me very, very upset. On 500 grand a week, he's still tied up for yet another season at the end of the 22-23 season. 32-33 season. Just how good has he been, though? He's listed as a legendary striker by the media. He's developed a lot of traits. Tries first time shots. Gets the crowd going. I'm sure they'll love that at the Etihad. It's needed. I'm sorry, any Manchester City fans tuning in. You've just got Arling Haaland. You cannot complain. Well, he's been very, very dominant. Not a single season in there where he hasn't scored 20 goals. Even in games and seasons where he played less than 30 games, still ballooned by the 20 goal mark. And that's just in the league. Don't forget. I've compiled some statistics. Erling Haaland, <laughs> he scored 290 goals in 382 league games. That's just the league, not even anything else. Averaging a goal every 1.31 games. That is absolutely terrifying. And for comparison, Sergio Aguero, another Manchester City legend, perhaps what Erling Haaland will go on to emulate, 184 goals in 275 appearances, with a goal every 1.49 games. Erling Haaland's goal every 1.31, Sergio Aguero every 1.49 that is absolutely phenomenal and to compare him even further with some of the great Premier League goal scorers of all time Wayne Rooney 208 goals in 491 games Ronaldo 102 goals in 226 games and hmm the current I say current I put great emphasis on that Premier League top goal scorer Harry Kane might go and break it 
Erling Haaland probably going to go for it. In this simulation, he is now the top goal scorer in the Premier League. But the current one, Alan Shearer, 260 goals in 441 appearances in the Premier League after its formation. If Erling Haaland goes and repeats this, he will be a very, very happy bunny. But how much did Manchester City dominate? Let's have a little look at the league titles. I'm sure they have been <clears throat> unbelievable. Vincent Company's now their manager. That is absolute poetry for a start. <sighs> wow. Manchester City have been absolutely unbelievable. They have won the league, well, that many times in a row. That is simply sublime. And the English make fun of Scotland for being a tin pot league. Have a look at that. That's what you've got coming for your future. Once Erling Haaland signs on the dotted line, if he's not done so already by the time this video goes out. Strap in, ladies and gents. But in addition to the 11 Premier Leagues that Erling Braut Haaland won in a row, let's have a look at what else he managed to win. Did they get that Champions League? I am very, very interested to find out. They've been very, very dominant. Um, only winning the Community Shield uh, after his arrival. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why the Premier League's not on there, but they did win it. So regardless... Oh, that was after he joined. Or was it before? I don't know what's going on. Regardless, they won the double uh, in 2023 in Haaland's first season, the FA Cup and the Premier League. Before going on to once again repeat a double, this time winning the Carabao Cup. In 2025, they did indeed win the Champions League. Erling Haaland, probably the key to that success, I'm going to guess. I won't be surprised if they win it in real life. Football manager certainly thinks so. And I'm sure probably all of you do at home. If you don't, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know why. Um, interesting opinion. But they won the quadruple that season. If you include the cup, uh, Super Cup rather. Before going on to win the quadruple again. If you include the Community Shield in the 2025-26 season. Just winning the league in 27. That's a fall off in terms of Manchester City. A double, if you include the Community Shield in the 2028-29 season, 2027-28 season, sorry. And, whoa, okay, he was busy in 2028-29. Carabao Cup winners, Premier League winners, scored the goal to win the Club World Cup Championship. And then Community Shield 2. Okay, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League in 2030. Premier League and FA Cup again in 2031. Uh, 2032 Premier League Community Shield 2023 FA Cup and Premier League still not done still only 32 mmm that's bizarre I wish I had continued the simulation because it says he has a preference to play for Leeds it'd be interesting if he could guide them to the Premier League and break their dominance I somehow doubt it they might need a little bit more help than that retired from international football at this stage as well where we will end the simulation with 92 goals after 98 games. Did they win anything uh, on an international level? I'm not certain that they did. It doesn't have anything there anyway. Oh, that's unfortunate. I expected maybe they would lead some, uh, lead them to something with sort of Odegaard, Christopher Ayer as well, and a few other young developing players. However, he did go on to win. I've prepared this. Six Community Shields, five FA Cups, Four Carabao Cups, 11 Premier League titles, two Champions League, one Super Cup, and one Club World Cup. 24 major honours in total, including all of the aforementioned. Oh, it's a scary, scary, scary time for football, isn't it? I imagine he's probably cleared up in terms of the personal accolades as well. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, yes. Yes, he has and um, there's players of the week in there as well but man city's season 11 premier league team of the year premier league top goal scorer i imagine that's the case for most of the seasons here and um, it would be interesting to work that one out he's won every award there is to win essentially that he he, he could um let's just keep scrolling shall we i'll count it up for you and let you know in terms of sort of the ballon doors and things like that it's still going. You're fed up now, aren't you? Thank you. Yeah, leave a like while you're here. 
and subscribe. Still going, still going. You've got time. If you've not done it yet, you're running out of time. Please do it now. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, this is quite terrifying if he's going to be that dominant in real life. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. Arling Haaland, since signing for Manchester City, has won. This is the Ballon d'Or, the World Golden Ball in Football Manager 2022. He won it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. In 11 seasons. Seven times in 11 seasons. Seven times in 10 seasons, in fact, I think. Because there's not been another one for 2023, 2033 yet. But he's still not done. And he helped Phil Ford into it twice, two years in a row as well. With Raheem Sterling coming in third. This is absolutely terrifying. Haha, <laughs> okay. He also won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine World Football of the Year awards out of a possible ten so far. Once again, Phil Foden pipping him to it just the once. I mean, this is not good for footballers. I mean, poor Kylian Mbappe. He's not even getting anywhere near it these days. Richarlison's there. I mean, I'll be shocked if this is very much accurate, but in terms of Erling Haaland, he's got a lot to look forward to. Also featuring in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten World Team of the Years. Oh boy, it's over now for football, isn't it? Hmm. I will be very, very, very shocked if Erling Haaland goes on to be this dominant in real life in football. But this is what Football Manager 2022 thinks. And they put a lot of research into this game. Um, this could be very, very, very scary. Let me know what you think of the move in the comments down below. This is where we will wrap up the video. Leave a like on this if you have enjoyed it. Please do subscribe as well if you are new around here with notifications on and I've got an Aberdeen save the link will be on the end screen it's a 1992-93 retro database version and I am loving it check it out thanks very much for coming along take care <laughs>